can quite understand why many people would bury their head in the sand in the sand in this situation. They are often nervous about seeking financial information from their spouse and therefore that is where we can provide the support and assistance. We often obtain that financial information from their current accountants um, in order to complete the exercise. We really understand what financial information is needed to be obtained in, in these cases and we liaise with the other accountants involved in order to get that information in an independent way that is um, professional to professional and non-adversarial. It saves you money uh, later on in the process on legal fees. Uh, we are often very much cheaper than lawyers um, and also in terms of properly establishing your assets and liabilities so that we can look at the tax implications going forward in order to minimise any tax uh, that may become due later on down the line. So we very much help at the start of the process by providing an aid memoir for you. This will basically just look at all the money coming in and all the money coming out. We'll also give you some guidance as to where you can obtain that information from. Of course, if you have any difficulties in obtaining such information, again, we can provide assistance as to how best to go and seek that financial information. At our initial meeting with our client, we would very much look to be talking about everything that they need to be considering at this stage. And also, we'd really want to understand what they're hoping to achieve as well, in respect of for them, and if there's any children involved as well. Sitting down and talking through, in a very straightforward manner, about each element of their other half's financial interests is really reassuring to them. We often start very much with the basics, i.e. in terms of what the other half does for a living or if he's a director in another business and we go from there and we build it up. Sometimes the other half can't answer all the questions that we, that we uh, need to uh, gain answers for. So there, at that stage we will then go and seek uh, advice uh, from the other half's advisors at the time. Um, just to make sure that we have a really clear understanding and a really good picture so that we can provide the holistic advice that that other half really needs at this time. Quite often we help with um, even the more basic things such as setting up a bank account in your own name and advising you on, on the best one to um, take in that particular case. We often find that um, where your financial affairs have been intertwined for a long time that maybe one person within the couple has taken more responsibility for looking after those things than the other. So if you are that spouse who, or person who has not taken such an active involvement in the financial affairs, it can be very daunting and we're here to help you every step of the way with trying to obtain a measure of independence during that process. To be honest, it would be far more advantageous for both parties to be liaising with their accountant much sooner in the process because we can provide that supportive guidance, uh, whether it's financial implications or just some general um, common sense advice from your accountants from right from the start of the process to the very end. We help save money in terms of when you're looking at uh, accumulating the information you need in order to look at your affairs um, by uh, enabling you to assist you in gathering that information in a much more efficient and speedy process and by making use of the resources at our disposal uh, with our experience in how to accumulate that information quickly and easily. I think uh, coming to Neil James at the early stages of uh, marital difficulties or divorce is very beneficial. Um, it saves you uh, time and stress uh, with us helping you. It also um, can save you money in terms of expenditure uh, and tax saved um, and enables you to move forward to the next stage much more quickly and easily 
than perhaps you would do if you were trying to accumulate the information and make sense of it on your own. My first tip would be very much to be organised. Just knowing where to attain the information that you need in order for your accountant to review. So for example, knowing where the bank accounts are held, how to get hold of bank statements, whether, they're, whether there's online filing or whether you actually have manual copies held at home. Just very simplistic things, but being organised would be my number one top tip. very much my second top tip and this is really from the experience that I've gained from dealing with such clients is to just come and see us so as early as possible I cannot reiterate that enough I had a client in the other day um, who actually needed to file her form uh, within the next three days uh, three days doesn't give an accountant long enough to assemble all the information needed we did manage to but it's not ideal we want to consider the full picture and with such a limited amount of time you do get concerned that actually are you achieving the best result for your client so just come and see an accountant early don't bury your head in the sand really stress that enough drop the children off at the school gates and go and organize an appointment with your accountant As with any of our service at Neil James, we offer a high level of professional scepticism. So if we're faced with records that perhaps we need to challenge a little bit more, we're not frightened to do this. It may mean that we need to pick up the phone and challenge the other half's uh, advisor, their accountant, just to ensure that we've got all the information we need and all that information has been remembered when pulling the finances together. Sometimes we use our forensic arm of the firm to investigate things a little bit further. Again, this may just involve challenging the other side of the, the other side and just asking further questions really to make sure that this is a fair record of the financial affairs. We have experience of dealing with collaborative lawyers and mediators in the course of our work and it's quite important that very early on in the process after being appointed that we liaise with your mediator or your financial planner or your collaborative lawyer to ensure that everybody is fully aware of the information that's available, the information that might not be available and also that we can all work together for your best interests. We have worked with a number of mediators and collaborative lawyers in the past and it's essential actually that we work as a team. We share the same information, we use it in different ways, but at the end of the day we want the best results for our client. We, we are hoping for an amicable divorce. I think in the case where you've got um, interest in a limited company, um, and the other spouse is not sure of what that, uh, those interests are worth, then our starting point would normally be to have a look at what's available on the company house records, which is publicly available information on the company, which gives us a starting point as to the activities of the company and the profits that it's been generating. Um, but obviously within a small company, there are opportunities to either increase or decrease the profits um, according to the way the business is run. And if the spouse has not been involved in the running of that business, it will be very difficult for him or her to assess the true profitability and therefore the true value of the company. So where we come in is we take that basic information and then we would liaise with the other accountants that have been involved in the preparation to find out what is behind the information that's on company's house. So the detailed financial information relating to the company, which will enable us to build up a proper picture of the ongoing profitability of that company and hence the potential value of the company on an independent basis to the other spouse. Often that partner who's not directly involved with the business um, is uh, very anxious at that stage and at, like I say at that time it would be useful to come and see an accountant to really sit down and talk about their concerns. 
we quite often come across cases where um, one of the spouses is not directly involved with the business entity, but um, obviously on divorce, the assets of the um, husband and wife need to be shared uh, between them. So it's imperative at that point that the person who is not normally dealt with by the firm of accountants seeks independent advice from a firm such as ourselves to make sure the business is properly valued and they're aware of what their share of the business is actually worth. Um, and we can undertake those valuations very um, quickly and in a sympathetic manner to the person involved. We often come across married couples in this situation, but also we do now come across a number of uh, couples who are not legally married and therefore don't have the same legal rights as a married couple. It's just as important for them as it is a married couple to really sit down and talk about their affairs at the earliest stage possible. Often those couples aren't aware of the financial implications of parting. They don't often know the benefits to be had of sitting down at an early stage um, to discuss those financial implications. And again, we're very much there to support them and, and tell them what they need to do and help them and guide them in getting that financial information and making it, well, trying to make it a, as smooth a ride as possible for that couple. Often there's many spouses who actually don't know where to go to to find an accountant. You probably know that you don't want to go to your partner's accountants uh, because you want some independent advice. What I would stress is that don't just go to the yellow pages, for example, and just pop your finger on a page and, and make that phone call to that one accountant. I would go on recommendation. I'm sure there'd be a number of peers that have been through a similar process who can recommend an accountant to you. If not, a Google search on the web for a chartered accountant would always uh, stand you in good stead in finding someone who is able to deal with such uh, circumstances. I think you need to look for an accountant who has expertise in this particular field and obviously when Googling or looking for an accountant uh, on the web um, to put in the key phrases such as uh, divorce um, within that um, search will enable you to hone in on the right accountant for you to advise you in that process. To be honest, a number of clients who are faced with completing for me are completely daunted by it. Well, by certain sections of it. Even a number of uh, clients who are financially aware are still puzzled by some of the questions within that form. It can be complicated and sitting down with an accountant and just going through some of those questions that you are finding that little bit more complex will provide you with the reassurance but most importantly will assist you in the long run when sorting the financial affairs out with your spouse or other half. I think it's important to tackle the form E early and preferably tackle it with your accountant. Uh, this is particularly the case if a business valuation is involved because a business valuation um, needs information to be completed and can take some time to complete and it's not a job that you can do just by coming in for a morning together and looking through it. It takes more time than that. It's often an incredibly emotional time going through a divorce or a marital breakdown. It's somewhere you wouldn't have anticipated yourself to be in such a position. However, you are unfortunately at that stage and therefore you really do need to talk to an accountant at the earliest possible opportunity. Sitting down with them and talking about, their financial, about your financial affairs is incredibly important and will also stand you in good stead in ensuring that you try and attain what you're hoping to achieve out of that relationship for yourself and perhaps for your children as well. Don't put off coming to see us. We're not that scary and the first meeting is free. <laughs>